quick start for Lansing there. Out to Houston for three. Good! And a quick move into the painted area for Newman. Ball being controlled by Jackson. Out over to the other Jackson, Jay Marin. Shot on the baseline instead, the open three, it's no good. Jason Newman can't go two for two to start. Lansing going quick, three in transition, that's no good, a little long. And the effort was there, but they couldn't chase down the rebound instead. It'll go to the favor of the Hawks. College of Southern Maryland. Calling out the play from the sideline. Moving it around. Taylor to Newman, down low. Newman cross court to Savoy. Savoy for three, no good. And long rebound, or excuse me, the high rebound brought in. On number five. Oh, good on the shot. In transition, 15 to the basket. No good on the layup, but he'll get a chance to get two at the line. Jerome Savoy. Ren Jackson got the foul. An early substitution here for Lansing. 32 and 22 coming in. That's Willard Payne and Caleb Barrett. So Houston hit the three to start for Lansing and then immediately almost gets taken out of the game. 3-3 is our score here in the early part of this first half. Game two of a triple header on Friday. Lansing into the painted area. That's number two, Jabril Abdur Rahim. Rahim, a great move there, finishing amongst the trees. And I would like to shoot that ball, but I'm not in the game. Unquell Jackson for Lansing commits the foul that time. Hawks take over. Working it around. Shot, open three, that's long. Here comes Lansing again. Great move to find the big, trailing into the lane. You see your big man run the floor like that, you reward him. Get the two point, seven three. Lansing's up in front right now. Driving to the lane, jump ball, possession arrow. That's a jump ball, possession arrow was in favor of College of Southern Maryland, so they'll still have it here. Inbounds underneath their basket. Quick turnaround, Newman almost had that pass picked off. Another inbounds play for College of Southern Maryland. This one will be right in front of the Lansing bench. Meeting of the minds between the gentlemen and the zebra stripes. Probably figuring out what to put the shot clock on. Yep, that's exactly what happened. They put 15 on the, or eight, excuse me, on the shot clock, so they don't have a lot of time. They need to go now. Five seconds now on the shot clock. Got to get a shot up, and that'll be all she wrote for that possession as Lansing goes on on the transition. Into the painted area, finishes amongst the trees. Caleb Barrett, no problem finishing through the contact. And the travel negates what would have been a beautiful block 
from Willard Payne. Lansing in the driver's seat in the early part of this first half. College of Southern Maryland needs to pull up the bootstraps defensively. Too many easy shots for Lansing in the early part of this game. And that's why the big man for College of Southern Maryland is getting in off the bench. Six foot four, Kevin Mallett. It's the round mound of rebound right there. That's a big boy. Spinning into the paint, dishing it out. Oh, what a block. We got our first invitation to the block party and then our second right after that. Real Abdur Rahim, Mr. Rahim, he was invited to the block party. Refreshments are on the bench, young man. Lansing. Driving into the paint, kicked out, open three, Barrett, no good. The rebound from Jackson, that one's no good either. Oh, nice move behind the back in transition. College of Southern Maryland almost turned it over there. Newman for three, no good, really long that time. Lansing. Jumper in the paint, no good. Offensive rebound, and it's in for two. Willard Payne proving that maybe he should have been in the starting lineup this afternoon. Baseline drive, Willard Payne meets him at the rim and rejects him. Willard Payne came to play here this afternoon. He has been a spark plug for this Lansing team off the bench. Foul away from the ball. Substitutions coming into the game. Only one starter left in the game now for Lansing. College of Southern Maryland moving it around. Oh, Newman puts it up and he gets invited to the block party. Oh, wow, what a beautiful move in transition. Willard Payne caught that ball with that here. Sorry about the technical difficulties, fans, but what a time to come back. Oh, my goodness. What a time to come back into the game, right fans? College of Southern Maryland. This first half has been a nightmare for them. And it's looking like it may continue with Willard Payne in the middle. Everything that goes into the paint is being gobbled up right now by the big man, number 32, the freshman. Six foot five, that's what he's listed as right now, but he's playing much bigger than that. <laughs> College of Southern Maryland now with second foul shot, good. And almost a shot, and we'll get the three instead off the front of the iron. No good! Oh my goodness! Emmanuel Gildo! He put that young man on a poster! Gildo gets the technical foul for hanging on the rim, but play like that, not gonna remember the uh, outcome. You're gonna remember the slam. Coach, legendary Coach Thompson, 
of Georgetown once told Patrick Ewing before a Final Four game, he says no one remembers the fact that it was a goaltending. They only remember that you blocked their shot. No one remembers that it was a technical foul. They just remember that they got dunked on. Twelve minutes and 42 seconds left to play in this first half. A first half that's really been a nightmare first half for College of Southern Maryland. But all that being said, it's only an 11 point game. So how bad could it really be? College of Southern Maryland moving it around. Newman down low and he has it almost stolen by Gildo. Eventually it is. Man, the Kyrie Irving trend continues here in this game. We saw a lot of Kyrie Irving shoes in game one. Number 24 has got him on here in game two. Uncle Drew's a popular guy here. Lansing with control. That's Donquell Jackson. Over to Tevin Taylor, down to Gildo. Gildo. And in and up, good play. Gildo found Enos, and Enos put it in for two. Twenty-eight, or excuse me, twenty-one-eight is our score. College of Southern Maryland will still have the ball, though. Inbounds play underneath their basket. Dangerous pass. Shot. Good jumper. Darren Taylor just couldn't finish it. Bad court awareness there. Quinton Gilliam got the steal like a safety, but they didn't realize that he had a foot on the line. Here comes Lansing. Oh, nice move in the pass to finish it. Houston! We don't have a problem on that play. Oh, man, that was beautiful. Up and under, no good, but the rebound by Lansing. They need to go. Here they come, Jackson down to Gildo. Turns, baseline, and puts it in for two. Man, he knew he didn't have much room to spin into the paint, so he spun where there was even less room, but he knew he could get the shot off. Gildo with the steal now, and here comes Lansing. Another dunk, could we get it? No, instead it'll be two shots for the big man. Man, this Lansing team is deep. They've had two players already in the early part of this game come in off the bench with huge spark plug, spark plug plays, excuse me. Will, Willard Payne came in with the defense and now number three, Emmanuel Gildo, is picking up right where number 32 left off. And he gets the friendly roll, but they'll wave that off because it hit the cord up top. Sure much how much of a con competitive advantage that is, but that is the rule. Just over 10 minutes left to play. Three-pointer, College of Southern Maryland, good! Jerome Savoy, big three-pointer, no blue jerseys near him. He finishes. Oh, Gildo couldn't catch the pass cleanly, but he got his own rebound. And the second time he had his shot blocked. I don't know why that shot clock restarted. I guess the first shot hit the rim. 
Under 20 seconds now on the shot clock. Jackson going right at his defender. Step back three. Oh, no good. This gym would have exploded if he would have hit that. Savoy. He's open. Top of the key. They can't find him. It's a turnover. Here comes Jackson. He doesn't have numbers, so he takes it himself. And he can't finish, and neither can his teammate. Here come the Hawks. Trying to do too much and go too fast. They turn it over. That's a charge. Offensive foul. Or is it? Ah, he must have been in the restricted area. Allen Hoyt, the head coach for College of Southern Maryland, not happy with the call right there, but really, I'm sure in general, he's just not happy with his team's performance right now. Kyle McAllister checks in, number 21. First action from him. He's a five foot nine guard. Twenty-six eleven is the score. Just under ten minutes to play in the first half. Pass down low. Shot on the baseline, no good. It bounced around the rim. Finally brought down by Lansing. Houston, another three. Oh man, he would have been on fire if he hit that. That would have been three threes to start the game. Newman into the painted area, no good, can't finish amongst the trees. Oh, nice, F fancy dribbles there. In between the legs, crossover, got himself some space. Onquel Jackson, the sophomore, nice move to get himself into the painted area, and then the foul was committed. Now under nine minutes to play in the first half. Let's see if the dominating performance from Lansing continues. 23 into the painted area and he finishes. That's Tevin Ali. Mr. Ali made the play. McAllister wanted to step into that three, but I think Ali knew. Long three, no good. McAllister got the rebound for College of Southern Maryland. Newman splits the defenders, but without the ball. Up top to Houston! Oh my goodness! Houston, we didn't have a problem on that one. Jackson, he drives baseline and he can't finish, but Tevin Ali does. Time out by College of Southern Maryland, and my goodness. We got eight minutes left in the first half, and the wheels are already starting to fall off the bus. Here comes College of Southern Maryland after the timeout. Hopefully they had a good Speech from their coach. Three from Newman is no good. Houston comes down with the rebound. And here comes Lansing. And no good. The shot on the block. The fall away jumper. A little bit too difficult. Pull up three in transition. That one's too long. And here comes the transition opportunity. Or Lansing. Lansing's head coach, Mike Ingram, has got to be happy with what he's seeing from his team right now in this first half. Free throws good. Jerome Savoya, the only player creating any kind of offense with consistency for this 
College of Southern Maryland team. Cross court pass to Savoy. Newman, good ball movement here from College of Southern Maryland. Will it end up leading to an open shot? Does lead to an open shot, but not a made shot. Payne with the rebound. He fought for that one, had a couple people around him. Houston is open, doesn't get the shot, and he's disappointed, and I can't blame him. Newman in transition gets the two points. That's what bad shots will get you. you. Take a difficult shot, long rebound, gives a transition opportunity to the Hawks. Jackson up and under, can't finish and neither can Payne. Here's Newman and in for two. And it could be a three point play. I think that was a frustration foul there from number 24. Would, uh, would have had to play that one perfectly to get the block, and perfect that was not. Instead, it's a opportunity at the three-point play the old-fashioned way. And one ref feels a little embarrassed right now. Good. 33-16 in favor of Lansing. Still, College of Southern Maryland. Are they coming alive? Play like that, go a long way and getting your team back in this one. Great trap. Forces the turnover. That was great pressure being applied by Jason Newman. Newman thought about the open three, instead gave it up as the closeout defense was pretty good. Taylor can't finish. College of Southern Maryland got the rebound. Savoy for three, in and out, no good. Man, that hit every part of the rim but the bottom. Here's Jackson and it's stolen away by Newman. Newman, he's everywhere. Oh, that's picture perfect basketball right there. You can't draw it up any prettier than that. The quick passes on the other side led to the dunk for Lansing, but Lansing commits the foul in the defensive side of the ball. 35-16 with just under six minutes left in the first half. Jason Newman going to the line for the one and one. This is a big thing for College of Southern Maryland and their hopes of a comeback here in this first half. Getting into the bonus. May help them get some more points. They may shoot some more foul shots because of it if they can keep the aggressiveness up, of course. Two for two from the line that time. 18-35 is our score. Lansing still very much in the driver's seat though. Barrett, Jackson, Jackson spins and that's a walk. Young man, only James Harden gets away with that. Newman. Savoy, oh, thought he was gonna pull the quick trigger there. Newman tried to save that. I guess he thought it was last touch by Lansing. Honestly, I wasn't sure. I thought, I thought it was indeed last touch by Lansing. He saw otherwise, obviously. 
Five minutes and 23 seconds left in the first half now. Lansing up 35-18 still. Reminder at home fans, the shot clock not working on your screen. Try and keep you updated on the shot clock as much as I can. 15 seconds is left on it right now. Barrett's got to get something because there's not a lot of time left in this possession. Now under 10. Barrett drives, pull up. Got to get rid of it. Four, three, jumpers good. Tevin Ali. The clock was about to strike midnight on that possession for Lansing, and they got it. Jason Newman answers back with a three of his own, and he celebrates because that was big. Ali the fade. Oh, that would have been pretty. Newman couldn't be under control that time on his drive. He ends up turning it over. Here comes Barrett into the paint. Ali. Oh, he finishes, but the walk negates it. And I should have highlighted this at the beginning of the game, but the Lansing, that Lansing team definitely has the height advantage and it's coming into play here. You're seeing so many finishes in the painted area. A lot of that has to do with the bigs, but a lot of that has to do with the guards finding the bigs for open shots. Newman, three. Oh, no good, they can't finish. And College of Southern Maryland will go to the line for two. 37-21 is our score with just under four minutes left to play in the first half. All is up, no good, wow, but they got their own offensive rebound and Savoy finishes it, 37-23 now. College of Southern Maryland has started to come alive here in the late stages of this first half. Long pass, Newman catches it, spins and can't finish. It's the second time Newman's gone for the drive, not under control. <laughs> Mr. Rahim, his eyes got real big when that Red Sea parted and he saw that rim. Forgot to put the ball down on the ground in the meantime. What a tremendous first half for this Lansing offense, they're getting everything they want anytime they want it, and that's going to be a foul on Lansing. Raheem, you see there as the towel boy is cleaning up the wet spot, he was in the restricted area. If he wasn't, he may have gotten a uh, charge there. He had good position outside of where he was, of course. Houston checking into the game. Tevin Taylor, Tevin Taylor checks into the game as well. Dropped off, no good. That one last touched by College of Southern Maryland though, so Lansing will still have possession, but only 15 seconds on the shot clock. The score is able to put the 15 seconds back on the shot clock. That's all the time that Lansing will have to get a shot off here after the inbounds.
College of Southern Maryland's head coach, Alan Hoyt, had to be upset with what he saw from his team in the early part of this game. That his team has been playing catch up for most of this half. And they're starting to see that pay off. Another turnover there by Lansing. And now College of Southern Maryland is a three-pointer away from making this single digits again. What a turn of events here in this first half. Newman gets his shot blocked, or was it blocked? Foul was called on Lansing, number 24. Foul shot's gonna play a huge key for the Hawks if they wanna get back into this game. Can't afford to miss very many free opportunities. Newman missed the first. One for two that time from the line. Lansing with control. I'm pretty sure Don Quell Jackson's played this entire first half. Barrett for three, right in front of the College of Southern Maryland bench. Can't hit it. Shot's gone cold for Lansing here in the last five minutes. Savoy finishes amongst the trees and he'll have a chance for three the old fashioned way. What an incredible first half this has been. Lansing was dominating the first half for really most of it. And the last, what, eight or 10 minutes, College of Southern Maryland's been playing catch up and we're seeing that pay off. It's now 29-37, or 28-37, excuse me. No, it was 29, I knew I was right the first time. Oh, the and one on one side, and we'll get a chance for another one on the other side. What a tremendous effort there from Emmanuel Gildo. Gildo, the sophomore, six foot five. And he's playing a lot bigger than six foot five here this afternoon. That gentleman came to play. He may have himself a highlight tape by the end of this afternoon. Gildo finished for three that time and then took a seat on the bench. Tevin Ali checks back in. Here comes College of Southern Maryland. It's back up to a double digit. It's back up to a double digit lead for Lansing. College of Southern Maryland after the inbound. Savoy fakes the three, pulls up, that's a two. It won't count. Here comes Lansing. Under almost 60 seconds left to play. Offensive foul from Jackson. I'm not 100% sure what Coach Hoyt just said. He just said compete or makes. Both of those things are important for College of Southern Maryland though moving forward. They need makes and they need to compete. Good backdoor cut. Almost finished. Right idea there time from College of Southern Maryland. Just couldn't finish. And what a great effort. 
College of Southern Maryland, the first one to get on the ground there. Lansing will have the ball. Not for long though, Newman chases it down and he misses the layup, oh my goodness. Newman had been so stellar all afternoon, he misses probably the easiest shot he's gonna get all day. And one, oh! College of Southern Maryland, the big man. Number 23, Kevin Mallett. He's wearing the LeBrons and he certainly looked like LeBron that time, using that big body to his advantage. He got the offensive rebound, he fought through the contact, and he put it in, and he's got a chance for three points. It's a nine point lead here for Lansing, 40-31, and it'll be an eight point lead now, 40-32, under a minute left to play. Lansing, they need a basket. Seems like they've gone a few minutes without one. I know that's not the case. Just feels like that. College of Southern Maryland, they can hold on for the last shot. They want to get the easy one though, they do. It's a six point game. That's defensive, didn't have his feet set that time. Still moving. Number 20, Quentin Gilliam. He makes the first on the one and one, so he'll get a second. 41-34 is our score. What a tremendous first half we've watched. 34-42 after that second make. Five seconds left. College of Southern Maryland can get a shot. Now they've only got 2.6 seconds to get a shot. Still enough time though. They've got to find something quick. Savoy, the three. Oh man. That's who you want taking that shot, honestly. He's been the one. LeBarrett putting up the numbers. I got the right numbers on my score sheet now, though, so we're ready to play. Under 20 minutes as we are just starting this second half, and what a great way to start for number 24, Caleb Barrett. He sends out an early invitation to the block party here in the second half. I believe that invitation was sent out to number two, Jason Newman. Don't forget the RSVP, Newman, and refreshments are on the bench. Newman, the inbound. Savoy, really the biggest offensive weapon the College of Southern Maryland Hawks had in that first half was the outside shot of Savoy. Cross court pass, under 10 seconds to play on the shot clock. Step back three right in front of the College of Southern Maryland bench. It's no good, rebounded by Lansing. They'll get their first offensive opportunity in the second half. Tevin Ali, great position on the block, spun to the baseline, couldn't finish, got his own rebound, got it blocked. Third time was no good either. Man, what great effort from number 23, Tevin Ali. Doesn't get anything for it, but man, it was pretty. Beautiful pass there from Darnell Taylor, dropped it off to his teammate who was cutting towards the basket. There's Barrett. No good. Great start for College of Southern Maryland here. Here's Newman, three. 
Oh, so close. But the offensive rebound, that much closer. Here comes Lansing. Pull up three. Oh, man, that would have been huge. Here's Caleb Barrett, he's gonna take the inbounds. Wearing those nice white Kyries. Lansing, 15 seconds on the shot clock. They get the word from their coach, Ingram. Now 10 seconds on the shot clock. They gotta get something going here. Jackson, was he fouled or did he walk? Newman is pleading with the ref to say he had his hands up, so I'm assuming that's going to be a foul. It is. College of Southern Maryland gets the foul. It's a seven-point game right now. Lansing is in front. College of Southern Maryland has been playing catch-up pretty much all game long. Will they have enough? to really get back into it. Gildo, another walk. You gotta flex those muscles after he uh, got the walk call from the ref. I don't know what that had to do with anything. Muscles certainly bigger than mine though. Here comes College of Southern Maryland, bad turnover. In transition, they don't have numbers, but they do have the points. Miran Jackson, great play there. Got the steal and the two points up. No basket, that's waved off. Foul was before the shot. Number 32, Sam Stewart, another one of those players who I had wrong on my score sheet in the first half. Sam Stewart. Some big plays in that first half off the bench. Oh, wow! Right into the teeth of the defense, Jason Newman. Wasn't scared of Sam Stewart that time. Sam had blocked a bunch of shots in that first half. Manuel Gildo slammed that ball down in frustration after he picked up the third foul of the game for him. Had a stern talking to from the ref afterwards. Remember fans, this is just game two of a triple header. We've got CCBC Dundalk Lions action after this. Newman up and under that time from Damon Gaither. Head coach Allen Hoyt for the College of Southern Maryland Hawks. He is fired up for his team right now. He gave his point guard, Jason Newman, a big high five after that last pass that led to the foul. He knows his team is working hard to get back into this game. He wants to know, wants them to know that he appreciates it. Wow, almost a big turnover there is Jabril Rahim couldn't get two hands on it, almost. Watch that possession slip through the fingers of Lansing. Lansing driving and the foul committed by Newman. Jason Newman is gonna take a seat on the bench after picking up his third foul. 
That's a big blow to this College of Southern Maryland team. And oh man, Savoy almost got in there and picked the pocket of the Lansing player. Jackson up, no call. Here's College of Southern Maryland. They don't have numbers, but they're going on the transition and they don't have the ball either. Savoy disappointed that his teammate didn't find him. Can't say I blame him. Lansing will have the ball. Savoy was open for that three right in front of his bench. Darnell Taylor took it, wanted to take it the distance himself. Didn't work out. Lansing takes over possession and a timeout. Much needed timeout by Lansing. They have not really. Here comes Lansing, gotta get that ball in, just do. Twenty-five on the shot clock, so still a lot of time here. Ali down low. Raheem up and under, can't finish. Offensive rebound and a foul committed by the Hawks. That'll send Tevin Taylor to the line. We saw foul shots play such a huge role in game one. The Bryant and Stratton Bobcats really struggled from the line and that had a lot to do with why they picked up the L in that game. Another good one. 46-38 is the score now. Savoy, three in the corner. Oh, so close. Tevin Taylor, the walk. Another travel call. Seeing a lot of them here this afternoon. Savoy, oh, he turned it over, trying to do a little bit too much. Lost control of the ball. Trying to hit a step back. Just over 15 minutes left, 46-38. This has turned into a pretty sloppy game, honestly. Oh, what a move by Tevin Ali. Drove baseline and finished amongst the trees. College of Southern Maryland. They got it into single digits and now it's back up to double digits. Oh, this is great perimeter defense from Lansing. They need something. Three seconds on the shot clock. Savoy's gotta make it happen himself. Shot won't count. Instead, it'll be two shots for Savoy. Great job by Jerome Savoy, forcing the issue there. Only three seconds on the shot clock when he drove into the painted area, so it was either that or nothing. He's good from the line that time, gets it back to an eight point game. 15 minutes left to play. In the painted area, no good. Rebounded by College of Southern Maryland. Here comes Savoy, he's got somebody behind him. He wants to take it himself in a good move. Savoy, where would this College of Southern Maryland team be without him? Oh, welcome to the block party, young man. 
refreshments are on the bench. What a tremendous defensive effort there from College of Southern Maryland. That looked like an easy two points for Lansing. Effort, effort, effort. It'll get you far in life. College of Southern Maryland looking for something. They're working it around. 10 seconds left in the shot clock, and that's an offensive foul, or is it? It is, offensive foul. Under 15 minutes left to play. This College of Southern Maryland team has a brand new vibe to them. You're looking at a team that's very much aware of the fact that they're in this game. Savoy over, that's Quentin. Savoy thought about the fake, or thought about the shot instead. It'll be Darnell Taylor to take it. The straightaway three-pointer makes it a three-point game. Barrett. Drives into the painted area and one! No, the basket's waved off. Man, great effort though from Caleb Barrett. Tony Trice checks in. Tony hit some big shots for this Lansing team in the first half. See if we can rekindle some of that magic here in the second. Spin, shoulder, no good. Oh, very close. Raheem gets the rebound and puts it in. What a great effort play there from Lansing. Quentin to Savoy. Taylor running from one side to the other side. Quinton drives, dumps it off to the big who missed the layup. That was a beautiful play by Quinton. His big couldn't finish though, and Savoy makes up for it and gets the two points. Kevin Mallett missed the layup. Savoy not gonna make that mistake. No good, College of Southern Maryland with the rebound. Savoy, pump fake, behind the back. Now the three. Oh, that's off the front of the rim. Last touch by Lansing, or excuse me, last touch by College of Southern Maryland. That's a great effort play to save that one. Knew if he didn't make that play, it would have been another free possession for College of Southern Maryland. The way this game's going, you can't afford to give them any more free possessions. Lansing needs to pull the bootstraps up and figure out a way to get back in the driver's seat in this game. Bad turnover. Here comes Newman and the, Newman and the Hawks. Newman for three in the tie. Good! Jason Newman! Raheem drives baseline right in. That's a blocking foul. It'll go against Mallet. Twelve minutes and six seconds, all that separates these two teams. It's 50 all. What a comeback effort from College of Southern Maryland. Do they have enough to finish it off? We'll find out. Trice. Down low, has it stolen by Quentin. 
Here come the Hawks, up and under. Oh, what a block by Raheem. Oh, ho, ho. Reward the big man on the other side, they do. What a beautiful play. And kids at home, that's how you play the big man position here in basketball. The block on one side and the post move on the other. That's picture perfect. Jumper, no good. Offensive rebound? No, it goes to Lansing. Oh, wow. Alan Hoyt, the coach for College of Southern Maryland, is taking his jacket off. A little Gary Williams action. For those, play, for those of you at home, remember, Gary Williams was the head coach of Maryland. You could always tell when a game was close when he took that suit jacket off. Alan Hoyt, no different for this College of Southern Maryland team. Fifty-two fifty is the score. Lansing in the driver's seat, but not by much. Jackson over to Trice. Raheem flashes, almost had it taken away from him. Trice up and under. Oh my! That was a beautiful play by number twenty-two, Tony Trice. Cross court pass, Newman right in front of his bench. Oh, a little long, it's off the end of the iron. 10 minutes and 30 seconds, all that separates these two teams. Oh, Jackson can't finish and neither can Ali. The first time at least. Ali makes it the second time around and puts his team back up by six. Savoy. Drives in, oh, what a block. Another invitation to the block party. Lansing slowing down the offense here and why not? 10 seconds on the shot clock. Need to go. Raheem up and in, wow. What a tremendous afternoon for number two, the sophomore out of Lansing, Sexton High School. Ennis with the foul. He's both these teams real close to the bonus. So a few more minutes for these two teams. It's gonna be foul shots from here on out, I'm assuming, because they're real close. 58-50 is our score right now. Under 10 minutes to play. College of Southern Maryland's been playing catch up all afternoon. Do they have enough to finish them off? Three pointer off the end of the iron, no good. Lansing with the rebound. Here comes Lansing. Dribble in between the legs, try for the crossover, but great defense. College of Southern Maryland. Second time, not the same. Gambled a little bit, went for the steal, got caught with a hand in the cookie jar. It's official now. One and one from here on out. Well, at least until we get to the double bonus. But it's foul shots from here on out for Lansing. And plays like that will help College of Southern Maryland's chances of staying alive. Missed foul shot, gives the Hawks a chance. Drive, baseline, switch, Savoy. Great closeout defense on the perimeter there. And even better defense in the paint. Tevin Ali. And we talked about it in the first half. This College of Southern Maryland team does not have the height advantage here this afternoon. That goes to Lansing. Lansing 
They're flexing those muscles here all afternoon. Lots of blocks being racked up. Oh, my. Are we sure that's not Superman out there? Because he is playing like a man of steel. He can't be pushed off that block. Every time he gets the ball on the block, he makes the play that Lansing needs him to make. Jabril Rahim. He's getting the position, and he's finishing. No good. That's back-to-back -back missed layups for Lansing, but this time they get the offensive rebound. Tevin Taylor for three. That's way long. Another offensive rebound for Lansing. Down low. Who else but Raheem? And this is old school basketball. Get it to the big down low with the position and let him go to work. Raheem, he missed his last foul shot. Let's see if he makes up for it. He's got two this time, fouled in the act of shooting. First one good from the line. Interesting, man. We haven't seen much of Caleb Barrett here in this second half, even though he was big for his team in the first half. Pass over Savoy, man. He passed up a difficult shot for an even better shot. That's smart basketball right there. I was going to say, why not take the three? I know. The closeout defense was coming, but the way Savoy is shooting it, why not let it fly? He obviously knows better than I do. He took it to the lane, got the two points, and maybe he'll get three the old-fashioned way. No, but they get the rebound. Savoy for three. Oh, he doesn't want one point. He wants three. 61-55. What a big play by Savoy. Lansing, oh, backdoor cut, couldn't catch it cleanly. And the rebound by College of Southern Maryland. Six point game. Working it around the arc, pass out. Baseline jumper, that's a two, no good. Not nowhere near, honestly, good. Lansing. Flash to Raheem, he spins into the paint, finds Trice for three. Oh, off the end of the iron. The big man can pass, too, you just saw. Oh! Where you fail, my friend, I will pick you up. Trice missed, but Jackson, not so much. Drives baseline, that's Quentin. Taylor, down low, finds a teammate and he puts it in for two. Just over six minutes left to play. 57-64 is the score, Lansing in the driver's seat. A lot of that has to do with the man you're seeing right there at the top of the key. Number two, Mr. Raheem. Oh, nice spin. Got himself the open shot, but couldn't finish. Savoy up. Got the defense up, but couldn't finish. Coach Hoyt wanted the foul for College of Southern Maryland. He didn't get it. Jackson, deep three off the end of the iron. I think that's over the back. Oh, wow, and goes against Lansing, number 23, Tevin Ali. That'll put College of Southern Maryland on the line with a chance to get two. Sixty-four fifty-seven is our score right now. 
Will it remain that here? We'll find out. Newman checks back into the game for the Hawks. There we see him, Barrett. Checking back in, Caleb Barrett. Made good on the first one. And good on the second. Two for two from the line that time. What a huge move for them. 64-59 will be our score. Oh, nice crossover with the pass. Can't say the same about it. Somehow Lansing got the ball back only to have it blocked from behind. Wow. 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 Up to a six point lead after that one. And now seven. College of Southern Maryland now running. We're gonna have to work a little bit harder now. Savoy for three, good! It's a four point game, 66-62. Big shot from Jerome Savoy. Raheem drives. Excuse me, that was not Raheem. That was Gildo who drove and passed it off to Raheem. Beautiful big to big passing there. Newman up and under, can't finish, but he'll get a chance at two for the line, at the line. Manuel Gildo, as you just heard, he's picked up his fifth foul and he's fouled out of today's game, but. He's made some plays here in this game. He had that huge dunk in the first half that went a long way in building that momentum for Lansing. 68-62. College of Southern Maryland, biggest foul shots of the game so far, right here. Oh, Newman missed. Sure, he thought that one was good. It honestly looked good coming out of the hands. Here's Newman again. Oh, 0 for 2 from the line, but they got the rebound. He gets bailed out by a teammate. And, oh, that's scary. If you're a Lansing fan, that's the last guy you want to see down there on the court. He seems to be all right, though. The man of steel for this game. He's going to keep going. Under five minutes now to play. It still is a 68-62 game.
Here come the Hawks. Switching over, Newman drives baseline. He's got the lane, that's gonna be offensive. Great defensive play there from Tevin Ali. When I was a kid playing basketball, my dad used to give me five bucks for every charge I got. Give that man five dollars, he earned it. Under five now to play, 68-62 is our score, Lansing. Oh, a turnover. And Lansing is really letting College Southern Maryland hang around to a certain degree. These turnovers could come back to hurt them. Jones. Savoy behind the back, and it's a call against Lansing. We'll send Savoy to the line, and they're in the double bonus. So Caleb Barrett has to play the rest of this game extra careful. He's one foul away from finding a seat on the bench. Savoy, good on the first. Chance to make it a four point game. And another shot here. Savoy, one for two from the line. Lansing, another turnover, wow. Really letting College of Southern Maryland keep their hopes alive. Hawks. Jones to Quentin. Back to Jones. Down low. Here's Savoy. He drives baseline and up and no good. Rebound by these Hawks. They can't finish on the second effort, though. Lansing got it. Three from Jackson. A fake. Ali drives and can't finish. But he was fouled on the way up. That was a beautiful offensive play from Tevin Ali. He caught that ball, drove baseline, and immediately jumped. Met the man at the rim, got fouled, and he's going to the line. Will it stay a five point game or can he get it up to six? We'll find out. He gets it up to six. Big foul shot there. That's a pressure situation with three minutes and 30 seconds left in a close game. Jones, jumper at the foul line is good. Four point game. 69-65, just over three minutes to play. Jackson in the corner, he stepped on the line, it's another turnover by Lansing. My goodness, Lansing's gotta feel like they're in the twilight zone right now. College of Southern Maryland still alive. Drives in, it's stolen by Barrett. Here comes Lansing. It's stolen again by the Hawks. And no good on the first two. Offensive rebound. And they can't get a second shot. Here comes Barrett. He pulls back for three. Good! And the dagger just maybe. Caleb Barrett flexing the range on the transition three. 72-65, that was real close to a carry. And they get the three-pointer instead, wow! Onto the court, ready to play the final two minutes and 20 seconds. 72-68, it is the score, Lansing's in the head right now. Raheem, Jackson, 
Raheem flashes to the baseline. Jackson drives into the painted area. That's going to be a charge. Yes, it is. What a huge play by College of Southern Maryland. More importantly, another Lansing offensive possession ends in a turnover. Alan Hoyt, coach for College of Southern Maryland, giving some last minute tips to his team. They need to restart the shot clock. There we do, back at 30 seconds. Two minutes is all that separates us from the final whistle. It's a four point game. Savoy is open on this side. They couldn't get it to him right away. As soon as he touched that ball, the double team came. Southern Maryland will have the ball on an inbounds play right in front of us here. Jason Newman checks back into the game. They're only going to have 11 seconds once they throw this ball in, so they need to move quickly. Newman to Quentin. And they never reset, or they, excuse me, they did reset the shot clock, which they should not have done. There was 11 seconds initially. Now there'll be seven seconds after that uh, few seconds. So they don't have a lot of time. They need to move quickly here. Jones, Savoy. I thought he was going to go to Savoy. Instead, he went to Quentin, and Quentin turned it over. Almost. Only one second. It's a sh catch and shoot here. That's it. Savoy shot. Oh, man. I thought he was going to bank that in. Shot clock violation as that never hit the rim. Minute and 35 seconds, all that separates these two teams from the end of this contest. It's a four point game. Barrett into the painted area, almost turned it over. Lansing still has possession. Timeout taken by Lance, almost a turnover, but that one's last touch by Quentin of the Hawks. Coach Ingram's got that big towel on the sideline. He's looking like John Thompson walking around with it. And a foul goes against the Hawks, number 20. It's either 20 or 23. Yeah, it is 20. And Quentin, I think he's going to take a seat on the bench because of that. coachable moment for that young man right now as he feels there's no way the foul was called but his coach is saying yeah well the foul you committed it <laughs> huge free throws right here and number 23, Tevin Ali, came up big on the first. He can get it back to a six-point game right here. Tevin Ali just missed that one. That one's long on the rim. Five-point game. They need baskets every time from here on out. Savoy. Newman. Great double team, Mallet can't finish. 
And the rebound for Lansing. Mallet had a chance, but he had to finish amongst the trees. That was going to be a tough one. They want to get the stop. Don't want to go for the foul just yet. There's enough time that they don't have to. Here comes Lansing. And was that going to go the other way? Oh, it's last touch by College of Southern Maryland, the man in the zebra stripe says. That could have been a costly turnover. And the first game came down to the last minute, and here the second one, more of the same. I hope we got more of that in the third. This has been a great start. This CCBC Dundalk Invitational Basketball Tournament. This is awesome. 73-68. We got a nail biter on our hands. Alan Hoyt's got to calm down here. He's in a dangerous position. He could be getting a technical for his team. Defensive stop and a three on the other side. He got the defensive stop. Oh, I thought that was last touch by Lansing instead. Last touch by College of Southern Maryland. So he didn't get the defensive stop just yet. And time not a friend to College of Southern Maryland right now. Time's not a friend to Lansing either on this possession. There's only four seconds left on the shot clock, so they don't have a lot of time. They got to get it and go. Oh, wow, what a great inbounds play there. Barrett threw it up for the big man. Couldn't finish, but he did fight through the contact. Got the shot off, which put him in a position to go to the line for two points. 73-68 is our score, and it'll stay that way, a big miss. College of Southern Maryland, another chance here. If they can get this rebound. Hawks got to go fast here, and they need a three. Newman drives and up and in. And a chance for three points the old fashioned way. Wow. Tevin Ali is fourth foul, as you heard from a PA announcer. Fouls don't matter at this point. He'll take Fallon out of the game as long as he can get the W. Newman's got to hit this. Does, that's clutch. Foul shooting right there. Three-point game under 30 seconds to play. Barrett, got to beat the press and does. Oh, man. That one was really 50-50. I think it could have gone either way. <laughs> Caleb Barrett has a chance. Really be the hero this afternoon if he can hit both these foul shots. Oh, he hit the, hit the first and missed the second. College of Southern Maryland's got a chance. Savoy's got to get this off now. No good. That's the game there, folks.
second, or excuse me, two seconds left. Tevin Taylor can ice the game right here with one. Oh, he missed. Still hope. Anybody remembers the big Larry Johnson four point play for the Knicks? There's hope. And that hope just went out the door. Five point game now, that's the dagger. That'll be all she wrote for this one. Final score, 76 to 71. Lansing squeaks out a victory. Stick around, game three will be starting any minute now. CCBC Dundalk versus ASA. Hope to see you then. If not, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.